Hello everybody, Wildfire00972 here, and today I'm going to do a little something different. In the last episode, we got here to return to city, and we went into this house and got ourselves this item called the Explorer Kit. Well, you may be wondering, how does it work? What does it do? I will show you. So, let's use it. DS wireless communication will be launched? Yes. <clears throat> now, I'm not gonna do anything in this episode. This is gonna be a half episode. Just to show how the underground works. Because this is both a Nuzlocke run and an LP, so... Oh look, we have Rourke. Hey, Alex. Is this maybe your first time here? Welcome to Sinnoh's Underground. Huh? Where is this, you may ask? Doesn't the radar make it obvious? <laughs> ah, everybody knows that the radar is, makes it obvious. This is a giant underground network of passages underneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing down here in this expanse of a place? That's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up treasure, spheres, and make a secret base. You can play with your friends down here, too. You should talk to the underground man in Eterna City. I have to get going now. I'll see you around. Yeah, this won't be any, any episode where I do fights and stuff. This is going to be explaining how the underground works. The underground is essentially this big place where you and, you and your friends can team up and just have fun do some distractions. Now, occasionally on the top screen, you can see little little yellow flashing lights here, like right now. Well, that means that you can get treasure there. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll go to that general area. When we touch the screen. You see that little flash right there? Do it again. We can dig for treasure right there. So, let's take a look. There are three items in the wall. Now there... Oh. Oh, there's a note tucked inside the explorer kit. Digging for treasure and spheres. I put a sledgehammer and a pickaxe in your explorer kit. Use them and you'll be able to touch walls to dig out all sorts of stuff. I'm sure you can dig them out before the wall comes tumbling down. You can do it. Good luck, youngster. What they don't say is that the hammer destroys the wall quicker, while the pickaxe, while covering less range, will not make it come down as quickly. But for this example, I'm just going to use the hammer, because it gets the it covers the most range. Oh, and look at that down there. You can switch to the pickaxe if you want. Although it doesn't really matter, because right now, we got ourselves an item, and once we've uncovered it from the wall, it's ours to keep. And we have a sphere here, I'll go into what spheres do in a minute, and wall looks like we're only, oh, right there, that's a shard, but unfortunately we can't get it. We got a sunstone and a blue sphere. What spheres do, occasionally you can find people in the underground. Oh, I got a trap. Well, here's an example of traps. What traps do is they prevent you from moving. So if you're playing a game with your friends, like capture the flag in your secret base, this is a good way to stop your friend. But occasionally, you can find people down here and trade spheres for items for your secret base. And right here, here's a hole trap you can pick up and do stuff with. And here, we can dig into the wall again. So let's do that. Now, there's one specific item I'm looking for. I don't know how long it'll take me to find, but I'd like to find it. Oh, here's a red sphere. Not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a fossil. That's right, you can find fossils down here. It doesn't look like I'm going to find it. Oh, well. You can also find all evolutionary stones. You can get heart scales. You can get max revives, I think. You can find a whole bunch of items. So if you're desperate to find an evolutionary stone, this is the best place to go. Oh, like that, I just found a heart scale. Out of sheer luck. Oh, and here's an item. And here's... Look, we got all three items. And that stops the wall from crumbling. A smooth rock, blue sphere, and a heart scale. Now, I think the smooth rock 
increases the duration that Sandstorm lasts, but I don't really use them that much. So, let's keep digging until we find the fossil. Here's a sphere, and another sphere, one more item in the wall. Now the fossil is fairly big. Oh, here's the last item. A red, green, and blue sphere. Alright. Looks like we've pretty much run this area dry. So let's search somewhere else. I see the perfect area to go. Hold on, let's move this way. Nope. The map is really disorienting because it's zoomed out so much. You can only see so much. I may have to just cut away until I find something. Find a fossil. Oh, look, that guy right there, he'll trade you items for stuff you find. And we found a pit trap. We have four places to dig into the wall. <clears throat> Alright, there are four items in this wall. It looks like it's pretty easy to dig into. Something I forgot to mention, the dark brown walls are harder to dig into. The white brown walls are easier to dig into, and the rocks are the hardest to dig into. Alright, that's two spheres so far. And three spheres. Well, there's no fossil here. So, well, I guess that's it for that wall. <laughs> well, let's keep looking. Again, everything is placed at random, I think, so it may be a while until I find the fossil I'm looking for, so please just bear with me. There's one more item in this wall, and I'm trying to find it. Oh, there it is. Just before the wall came tumbling down, and I've had times where the wall has fallen down on me just before I was about to get an item I desperately needed. Alright, four things in this wall. Alright. Ooh, here's a new sphere. Ooh, and another new one. And that's about it. We got a pale sphere, a red sphere, and a prism sphere. One more place to dig into the wall. Alright. So I think you've got the basic gist. Ah, uh, two for one, Grandma. <laughs> All right, size 22 and a size nine. I'll talk to that guy in a minute. All right, two things in the wall. And something else I need to mention that the space in your in your treasure bag is not infinite. You will run out of room for stuff eventually. It does get really tedious. And really, I don't think I found anything in this wall at all. Not a thing. That's really sad. All right, let's check up here. Yes, let's dig into it. <coughs> Four things in the wall. The blue sphere. And that's about it for that wall. Let's see, anything else? Oh, and sometimes, if... Sometimes, you can dig into the same wall you were just in. Again, this doesn't happen that often, so... Every time you leave a wall, just check anyway. Ah, oh, there it is. Alright. So I think you've got the basic idea. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. You got a sphere or two? If you do, I'll trade you something. You can get stuff for your secret base. You can get a bookshelf, a sink, a Pachirisu doll, a maze block, and a Baneri doll. But a lot of these require a lot of spheres. Look at the Pachirisu one. It takes 89 alone. So, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and show you this. 
This is where all, all the traps you've picked up. These are all the spheres you've picked up. Look at all of them. Yeah, that's a lot. All the goods you've collected, we haven't gotten any. All the treasures, some of them. And just my trainer card, and go back up to the surface. There's a little bit more over this way, so I'll go ahead and check that real quick before I go up. Alright, that pit right, that tra trap right here, rockfall trap, and this place in the wall, and I think that'll be it, for now at least. Two things in the wall. Alright, let's see, oh, there they are. Alright, blue sphere, for both of them, same size. So, I think what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go back up to the surface, and come back off screen and get the fossil I'm looking for. And I'll show you once I've gotten it. But first, I'm going to talk to this guy. Alright. Hmm, I see you've gone down to the underground tunnels. Well done. Take these as a reward. Move trap up. Bubble trap. Leaf trap. Those are called traps. They're triggered when stepped on. The underground is a place where you can go with your friends. You might try setting the, those traps when you're down there with others. Now, what should I assign you next? How is it in the underground tunnels? Big and empty, I would think. But that's only because you are a novice spelunker. There are many hidden things down in there that are not visible to the eye. For our next test, I want you to dig up some treasure and spheres for me. While underground, check the radar for yellow spots. Go to such a location and touch tre and treasure using the touch screen. Ah, oh, you dug up what I was looking for. Good job on finding it. Well done indeed. Take these as your reward. The Prism Sphere 1. Red Sphere 1. Blue Sphere 1. Dig into the walls of underground tunnels to enter the hidden stuff. Possible the stones can be dug up, gone off, and down under. Spheres, which are gems, cannot be brought up, but they can be exchanged for goods down there. Now what should I sign you next? My test on over! Next, let's use some spheres. The spheres can find one underground but very peculiar. When buried into the ground, they grow daily, a little bit at a time. I want you to bury these strange spheres in the underground tunnels. This is my latest test. Alright, so... I'll go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'll go hunting for the fossil off, off camera because I'm sure this is very boring and I apologize but this is a half episode so I'm gonna go ahead and go back down I'll show you how to plant uh, a sphere and then I'll come back then I'll go ahead and cut off screen alright so what you want to do is go to spheres and just pick any sphere. You select it and click bury. And then it's buried right in front of you. you come back later and it'll grow. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. So, I'm gonna go dig a little bit. If I find anything useful, I will make notice of it. So, I'll see you later. You see that? You see that right there? Bottom left corner of the screen? That's what I'm looking for. That is called a, an armor fossil. Oh, and I'm out of room for spheres. Yeah, it took me all oh, five <coughs> five minutes or so to find. Excuse me. And yeah, that took a while. So we have the armor fossil. So let's go ahead and put all the stuff in our bag. Sunstone was placed in the bag. Smooth rock was placed in the bag. Hard scale was placed in the bag. Armor fossil was placed in the bag. Beautiful. So let's go back up to the surface. <clears throat> Alright. So, we have an armor fossil. Let's go talk to this guy real quick. See what he wants. Good, good, you buried your spheres! You know, how does he know we did that? Is he stalking us or something? Does the uh, explorer kit he gave us have a, a radar or something? Or maybe a secret security camera? I don't know. The next time- The next time you go underground! You should, they should have grown bigger. Just don't forget where you buried your spheres. Too late. Anyway, well done. This is your reward. A digger drill. You may have seen them already, but they are sphere collectors. 
They wander about the underground tunnels seeking spears. They'll happily trade you items for big spears. Now, what shall I find you next? Have you grown weary of repeatedly going back to the underground? Not really. No, it's not over yet. Next up is your secret base. That's right. I will teach you how to make your own secret base. All you need is a digger drill. I gave you earlier. So if you go to the underground and use the digger drill wherever you like, it'll instantly make your own very own secret base. So your next assignment is go make your own secret base. All right. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Then we'll actually go do what I want to do this episode. Alright. Yes. Let's go ahead and launch it. Man, I just realized there's a lot of saving in this video, isn't there? I never show me saving the game on screen. Alright. Here we go to the underground. Maybe for the last time. So, if I'm not mistaken... Yep, that's where my sphere is. So I'm gonna dig the hole in the wall right here. So, we use goods. Nope. How do I do it? Um, treasure? No, I forgot how to do this. To be honest, is it traps? Yes, digger drill. A single, a single-use drill to drill a hole in your wall for a secret base. Digger drill was used. Discovered a small cavern. Would you like to make it your secret base? Yes, I would. So, what we have here is essentially a secret base. We get oh, a big room. We get a computer, and we get a flag. The computer is used to get to move all the furniture that we get from trading spears with the guys down here, and the flag is for capture the flag, which is a game you play with the friends down here. Unfortunately, since I have no friends to play along with, I won't be doing this. Maybe, maybe I'll do a later part with a friend eventually, but at least for now, I can't. So. We've made our secret base, we've got a lot of stuff done, and I got my armor fossil. So, let's go back up to the surface and do what I actually wanted to do in the first place. This is why I made this whole half part. So, what am I going to do? I am going to go back, all the way back, to Orberg City. Now, there are one of two ways I could do this. I could go south on the cycling road, but I don't have a bike, so that option's out. So that means I have to go, let me pull out the map, hold on, I have to go all the way around through Floroma Town and Jubilife City and Orberg Gate just to get to Orberg City. I will probably be cutting this part from the video. It'll be very, very long and tedious for me, but for you, it'll be a millisecond-ish. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> when I get back to Orberg City, we will get what I came for. So, I guess I'll see you whenever I get there. <laughs> see you then. Of course, I start with an encounter. Why did I say, whoa, a Dust talks. Huh, that's kinda neat. I have a 2% chance of finding dust talks here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and fight it. So let's use pound on it. Not bad, not bad. Although it is using confusion, I, that's a little scary. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's keep using pound. Yeah, I can't wait for Kirito to run Dizzy Punch. That'll come in so much use. That'll be so useful later on. It'll be so much more useful than, than Pound. Now, unfortunately, I can't catch this thing because I caught Carrot here. Sorry, Dust Talks. You are cool, but you're gonna have to die now. <coughs> Alright. Now, for real this time, I'll see you when I get to Orberg City. I promise this time. Oh, that was a nightmare. Oh, I got so many encounters for wild Pokemon there. I, I ran into so many wild Pokemon in there, it wasn't funny. Ugh. Well, in order for this to work, I gotta go put, put a Pokemon in the PC. 
it'll only take a sec. <coughs> so, for just for real quick, I'm gonna leave behind Potato just for a second. I'll be bringing him right back. And I gotta go get this Pokemon. So, where do I go to get the fossil? I go right here to the Orberg Museum. I have the fossil in the bag. Let me show you real quick. It's all the way down here. Armor fossil. A fossil from a prehistoric Pokemon that lives on the land. It appears to be part of a collar. A collar, huh? Okay. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. You have a fossil for me? Yes. Shall I turn it into a Pokemon? Yes. I'm in the process of extracting your Pokemon from a fossil. If you go outside, yes, please, now. Time to lose my daddy. No! <laughs> so, sorry about that. I, a little overdramatic with this kind of stuff. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. You are gone too long. You kept us waiting. Unacceptable. This is your shield on. You'll be good to it, okay? I got shield on. Yes, I need to give it a nickname. I'm required by law. It looks like it's a guy. So... I will name it... Jeez, I really don't know. How about... You know what? I had some jelly bean today, so I'm gonna name it Jelly Bean. Alright, so let's check out Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. <laughs> Level 20. A lax nature. I don't remember what that does, so I'll check real quick. I probably need to memorize these natures. A lax nature raises defense but lowers special defense. Holy cow, look at that defense stat. Man, that's actually really good. Taunt, metal sound, take down, and iron defense. And Jelly Bean might be a good Pokemon to fall back on, in case I need a defensive wall. Or I may have, I may end up using it, I don't know. I'll give it a little thought. But, now I have to go all the way back to Eterna City. Oh, I'm gonna hate this. Okay, well... Oops. I guess I'll... I'll do that off screen. I'm gonna have to do that off screen because <laughs> I can't take it anymore. And who knows, I may have been able to get the bike right as I got to Eternal City. If that happened, I'm I'm gonna hit myself. So <laughs> I'll have to go back to Orber not Orberg to to Eternal City. And I'll probably cut there real quick. So, once I'm out of this battle, I'll instantly be in Eterna City. See you then. Oh, <sighs> well that ride back wasn't nearly as painful as the ride to Orberg City. So before I end off the episode, I'm going to take a look at the bike shop real quick. Let's see if I can get a bike. The manager's gone off to T-Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. Well, gee, it's the Team Galactic building. What do you think is holding him up? My guess is... a mouse infestation. I don't know. So, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I mean, I talked to you about the underground, we got a shield on, and... Uh, that's a lot for this episode. And I may or may not use it right away. I mean, it's a really nice defensive wall. But I don't know how good it is, because I've never really used one. But well, it does have sturdy, so I guess it's not too bad. So I'll give it some thought. So I guess if you like what you watch, like, comment, subscribe. This has been Wildfire00972. In the next full episode... I don't, think, I don't even know if I, should, if I can count this a half episode. We'll go to 
I guess we'll explore more around Eternal City and see what there is to do. See you next time.